Hey guys, David here. Just banging out a few sales calls today. Um, one thing which I take really importantly, obviously we, we market like animals, but we also love to do follow up So we've got a good HubSpot database of maybe 4,000 emails. So today we're just gonna sit on the phone for 40, 50 minutes, try and have six or seven good conversations and uh, take a listen here. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Barry Foreman um, the other day, just regarding yeah, our yeah, services. Yeah. yeah. How can for we sure. help? Have you just got a new build you wanna get looked at? Um, I've ended up finding someone to, to get it done, so um, Too easy. it's all under control. Too easy, bro. Think of us on the next one, eh? Legend. What, what's your pricing like? Oh, it just depends how big the job is. Is it a standard or architectural? It's two story. Two story. Um, no, it's not architectural, it's just done by a drafty. Yeah. Uh, about 300 square meters. Yeah, probably 1800 bucks plus GST, something like that. Okay, cool. I'll, um, I'll touch base next time. Yeah, cool. How much was the other guy, just out of interest? He was. 1200 including or 1200 plus i think it's 1200 plus yeah oh not too bad yeah oh, i mean if he's good bro no point chopping around stick with the same guy it's better um yeah it was the first time i've used uh qs okay. so i was flying a little bit blind to be honest so um i'll give him a go and see how he goes yeah happy days bro oh well see us on the next one so are you based in new zealand or are you based in australia nah we're in melbourne all oh, right okay yeah. so nah happy days okay awesome thank you all good bro bye bye cheers Hello, speaking. Yeah, David here from Rapid QS. What's going on, man? Uh, not a lot, buddy. How are you? Yeah, bloody fantastic, man. Just having my third coffee for the day, so I'm pretty g'd up, as you could imagine. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. What's going on? What's going on in Perth, man? Is it hot over there? No, actually, it's becoming really, really cold. Oh Jesus, that's not like Perth, man. Usually it's forty <laughs> degrees. <laughs> hey, um, how can we help you, bro? You've got in there you wanting a new build to look at to get priced, yeah? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, so we had a house that um, one sandwich will burn completely to the ground. Yeah. So we own the block there. We're, we're in the stages of a rebuild. Okay. We've um, hired a mm, drafter, yep. and the drafter's done up all the planning for everything. Beautiful. Um, the only thing is um, our, our bank that we had a loan from, because uh, it was underinsured, obviously the insurance company is going to pay us out. Yeah, correct. Um, but we still had money owned on on the property. Okay. And that bank that we loaned from has asked for a costing, a fixed costing for everything to be built. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so at the moment, we we're looking at how the walls will be built, and we're meeting up with somebody that's going to show us how he's going to be doing all the walls for the whole build. Yes. Uh, all we need to do is organise the plumbers, obviously, and the uh, landscapers and uh, yep. the electricians and yep. the roofing people. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, yeah. All, all literally, for us to do our job, all I need from you is that I, I can help with all of this, but all I need from you is literally an email with an exact scope of what you need us to price. Like, if the builder's doing X amount of the work, then we don't need to provide a price for that. But um, okay. you just need to let us know everything else that you want us to include in our pricing, and then I can come back to you with a fixed price um, turnaround. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, can you? I'll, yeah. I'll just read you what the bank actually, I'll just bring the email up in front of me, oh. and I'll read you what the bank's requiring, eh? Um, yeah. Because I, I gave this email, I sent it through to our draft, and she, she kind of thinks that it's unrealistic, like you can't achieve it. Can't achieve um, what? what they're asking. You can't achieve what the costing is that they want. But um, I'll just bring that email up. Maybe you might have a bit more understanding than me, but I'll read out what they request today. Uh, when do you need this by? Um, oh, ASAP. But yeah, all good. Depending, can, on, depending can on all the information we feed you, um, can I just get you to do me a favour which will save a whole lot of time? I've just flicked you an email. Is your email antonio 2 tho 8 at windowslive.com? Yeah. Yep. Just reply yep. back to my email with the plans, exactly yep. what yep. you need from the bank, and I can come back to you today with a timeline and a proposal to do that work, okay? Oh, sweet. Not cool. too easy. Yeah, yep. yep. cool. Okay. Sounds good. good. That should be in okay. the inbox now. It's just come from david at rapidqs.com. Too easy. And you're WA based? No. Uh, we're based in Melbourne, but we're very, we're all good with what up to date with the rates in, um, in Perth, so no stress. Okay, too easy. All good. Easy, okay. bro. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. So that's a warm lead inquiry that has just come through. So he left an inquiry, need a complete new build. Um, so we will go back to him with a full cost proposal. Sounds like they've got a builder who's going to do a portion of the work, but 
yeah, that lead came in last night at 5 o'clock. We've called him today at 11.30 a.m. So we probably should have called him at 8 a.m., but we've managed to get back in good time. He's pretty wrapped. Um, yeah, we'll do a cost proposal back as soon as that email comes in. And uh, we will try and smoke another one over the line now. So that lead didn't come in, but we'll leave a text anyway, and we'll reply back with an email just so we're there in our, we've got them in our system. Follow-up call for another builder in Northland, just regarding a big vet club re-roof. She hasn't got back to the builder a few times, so we'll see if we can get her. Oh, David here from Rapid QS. I'm just giving you a call on behalf of uh, T just regarding that re-roof price estimate. If I could have a quick couple questions. Yeah, absolutely. Go Good. Go. Hey, did you guys get that all underway? Have you selected a contractor for those works yet? We have not got it all underway. And <laughs> What's happened? We have got a, so we've got a builder at the moment that's um, having a look. Because, uh, so where are we at? Because we only really want it to last probably, in all honesty, 18 months before we actually look to demo the whole building. Oh, just We're not looking to spend 100 yeah. 120k oh, on it. Put up some secondhand roofing. There's so much shit you could take out of that. If I knew that in the scope, that would have been amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wasn't absolutely wasn't aware with that. No, that's all good. The, obviously, the issue is the internal guttering, yeah. not the actual roof. Why don't, but as soon as you remove that roof, because it's so rusty, you're not going to be able to replace it. Yeah. Why don't you just like? Why don't you just? Why are you guys even doing work to the internal gutters then? Because it's leaking inside the clinic. Okay, so you have to do those then, yeah? So that's a non-negotiable? Absolutely. We've got tenants in there, so we absolutely have to. It's got to, we've siliconed it at the moment, but that's only a temporary fix. So yeah, it's literally, sure. when it rains, it's literally pouring into the uh, consult room, which is right in the middle of that building. Okay. It's, uh, right in the middle of the 60 linear metres, which is what the yeah. uh, internal gathering span is. Okay, cool. Yeah, because obviously my job is to go through and find out anything that looks absolutely outrageous. And I would think 333 labor hours at $65 is pretty good. That's pretty competitive um, right. in regards of time. And then the only other obviously big cost, which makes up the 120 is the, I mean, the brand new roofing yeah. iron at $20 a lineal meter. Um, right. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's literally one of those jobs. It's like, well, <laughs> I can go as low as we can. And then I suppose it's just a case of... Um, scope creep what's what do you want to remove from the scope to keep the price cheaper you know that's what i'm we'll yeah, try and work yeah, with you on absolutely. Um, so it's really replacing probably replacing 50 percent of the iron that's on there i'm being generous actually by saying 50 percent's okay it's pro realistically it's probably about 30 percent okay cool so let's say replacing 70 percent of the roofing iron that's up there oh okay so um, 70 cent 70 percent to be replaced yeah Correct, okay, has to be cool. replaced. It's oh, that's too all rusty. Good. As soon, yeah, as soon as you take it off, it's going to have to have some form of roofing, a new roofing on it. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and some of that seventy percent is actually two specs as well. It's just like a, an outside covered yeah, yeah, area yeah. between the garage and the building. So, um, and then the internal gutterings, and obviously part of those internal gutterings, the framing for that internal guttering yeah. needs redoing as well. It's not as easy as just or simple as doing a metal craft. Uh, yeah, I know. Because I was hoping, but that's, we're not going to get away with that. There's quite a few of those brackets, wooden yeah. brackets that have rotted out. Yeah, because I've got a total, I've pretty much got a budget for about half a week for two guys to go and reframe all of those, and then I've got a material allowance too. So if you, I mean, if I was to say, if I went through and did, um, if I went through and removed the labour, the materials for just the re-roof section only, and allowed only for 30% of that to be replaced, I mean, that could drop the cost a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not going to make it, well... I can go through and all those components regarded to re-roof, I can make that 30% of the, the cost. If you're thinking 70% of it okay. is fine. Um, and then the, other, the other thing that we did get told, and I'm not sure, was that potentially that internal guttering could be done internally. Mm, I haven't got the photos. It's in. going to be really, as far as I can see, it's going to be, um, and I'm not a builder, I have been project managing for a while. I've just finished the Royal Cup, building the Royal Cup of Vic Clinic. But as far as I can see, doing it internally through those little roof tile spaces mm. um, is going to be an absolute freaking nightmare. Nah. I, I, if, if, I was, if it's only going to be up for 18 months, 
I reckon you just get a waterproofer to come in and just do another lap straight over what you've got existing. They're not going to put a warranty on it, but that could be something which would be like a bit of a temporary band-aid, perhaps. We looked at that. We looked at that with Kofi, but they can't do anything about that internal guttering, oh, and okay. that's that's where the water's getting in right now because it's so old that it's actually applied guttering that's there now. Because it's so old, it's sagged, so the water's sitting in those sags uh, between each bracket, yeah. and that's where it's leaking internally. So at the end of the day, that's that's the issue that I've got to fix, and to fix that, I'm going to have to take those roof tiles off, or sorry, the roofing iron off along that 60 yeah. linear metre. Yeah. Because the drain pipe is at the very end of the building. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, you're just in one of those hard spots where there's not much you can do to fix something. You have to get in. It's like if you want to fix the car engine, you've got to get through everything else and take exactly. it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I mean, it sounds like all I can really do right now to help you is go through and reduce all the roofing costs by 70% to make an allowance of 30% replacement only. Um, okay. Yeah. The other thing I did think of, and again, if you can have a look into this, the possibility of, if, I mean, we're looking to build a similar size style building. Mm. Um, is there any chance the roofing that gets done, if we did go into 127k or whatever, over 100k that it costs, is there any chance that that roofing can be reused? Yeah, well, it's just tech screws, so you're just going to take them out, but it just means you need to make sure that everything you redo, same purlin width, same purlin um, gaps, etc., needs to all line up to new roofing. I mean, it's you'll probably spend quite a bit of extra time on labour making sure you yeah. match up the existing puzzle. <laughs> I'm just going to say, ultimately, the architect's going to be a lot more expensive than it is to get the new yeah, roofing iron. Yeah, that's it. For that. $20 a linear metre, it's probably not really worth it, you know? Um, I understand yeah. what you're trying to do though, and I mean it's, it's good for the environment as well. <laughs> but um, absolutely, it's, yeah, it's, it's ultimately just trying to keep those costs down. I mean, I've got, I've, as I say, I've just finished for a Carcavet clinic and building that, and I've got a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget to basically yeah. either revamp the clinic we've got, which I don't think is a good idea because it's been there so long and the foundations are not the greatest. Um, or rebuild. So I'm just trying not to tap into that 650000 budget that I've got right now. For, for this. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, all good. Okay, well, let me redo those numbers. If you could do me a massive... Oh, no, I've got your email here. I'll just try and do a bit of a rejig on the numbers and just put that uh, labour allowance in there, reduced for the roofing only. And Brilliant. Yeah, Brilliant. We'll just see if we can make something work. I know it's not a deal for you, and I understand what you're trying to do. Um, uh, obviously, sure. it's uh, a builder's job to be like, no, nah, this is silly, or it's p possible, you know? So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I really appreciate it. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your call. Thank nah, you. All good. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Bye. Son. Bye. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit outrageous. He's trying to, um, yeah, the building needs to be re-roofed. There's rain pouring in for their tenant. They're obviously the body corp or the land owner, uh, building owner, and they're going to demo it in 18 months. She doesn't want to spend 124k, but the rain's pissing in, so outrageous. But we'll send an updated scope back and see what we can do. I've got to go to the next job. Yeah, yeah. So just bear with me one second. All good, man. We'll make it short and sharp because I know you've probably got a hectic Friday. Are you there? Yeah, bro. Let's. I'm locked. So I can carry my thing. Say, where are you from again? Sorry, mate. We're locked in. It's David from yeah. Rapid QS. I spoke to your business partner early. He reached yeah. out to us in regards of our services and what we do for builders. So uh, we yeah. we have a team of ex builders pricing for builders and like developers and construction people doing their projects. So he yeah. said that you guys are looking at tendering for a commercial fit out project. And that is yep. something we can help with in regards to our pricing and expertise to putting like a full breakdown sheet together for you. Okay, is it, is it from um, you guys, uh, <coughs> an estimating crew that you guys can do the estimation and towards the working insurance you're going to work with? Yes, you? correct. So all I need okay. from Look, you is how's a... This? How's this? We've got three, four people on the queue. What I'll do is I'll give you the architect's number. His name is Bell. Yep. Bell gets in contact with all these people. So you contact Bell and get a thing in, um, get your emails and everything across. He'll send you the full working drawings, which will be out, hoping mid-August. Yeah. And you'll have probably one, two, three, either three or seven jobs to estimate out. Okay. 
So, okay, two, so of them, two of them being, uh, sorry, one of them being close to 4,000 square metre dealership, the other four being four small dealerships. So you've got to make a deal on that because it's a permitted yep. for one. Yeah. So if you're, if you're estimating that one, you just got to count it as one project. Yeah, understood. So just have a look at it. Um, Bell's in contact with a lot of people, as I said. So get your pen down. Yeah. One second. You're all right, mate. Shit, you sound like you've got a hell of a day. Uh, mate, I'm leaving in two weeks again. I just came in two weeks ago. Yeah. From overseas, and I'm leaving, and it's just boys everywhere. Yeah. It's all going good, but anyway, hold on just in case. Huh? It's 0458. Yeah. It's 311. Yeah. 043. And I'll tell him you called me, and sorry, your name? No, no, not me. I just wrote B E L. Yeah. And his name, his name is B E L M I R. I'll give him a call, okay, mate? Yeah, Easy you, spoke him, you spoke to him, you spoke to Elp, and you spoke to me, Sir Tan. Okay? Yeah, easy as, bro. All right. Thank you. Done. Ciao. Thanks.